Hey there, how's it going today? Mark Dwayne here from markdwayne.com. Hope you're all staying safe. And first, I'd like to take a minute to thank you for taking the time to watch my video today. That means a lot to me. And what we're going to be doing today is taking an in-depth look at a new program that just launched called Design Beast. And we're here on the sales page. And what the sales page says is, create sensational designs, graphics, and animations in all languages with the world's most powerful design suite powered by artificial intelligence. Well, we're going to take a better look at Design Beast, but before we do, we're going to take a look at some hand-picked bonuses I got if you're interested in Design Beast. And the only way you can get these bonuses is if you go through a link somewhere on this page, go to my bonus page, push the button on my bonus page, purchase the program, then you'll get access to all my hand-picked bonuses. Well, anyway, here are my bonuses. Okay, here are my special hand-picked bonuses for Design Beast, and the first 10 are designed to go hand-in-hand -hand with this program, because Design Beast is a graphics design tool. It's a six-in-one graphics design tool, and it can be used in a lot of different markets, so I added extra bonuses on here. It can be used in graphic design, it can be used in video marketing, it can be used in e-commerce marketing, affiliate marketing, and a lot of different markets. So if this sounds like something you may be interested in, here are the special hand-picked bonuses that I have for you. Special custom bonus number one. Secrets to making high-quality animation videos. Special custom bonus number two. How to start a video marketing agency. Special custom bonus number three. Secrets to creating a eye-catching banner. Special custom bonus number four, how to make graphics for video modules. Special custom bonus number five, tricks for designing the best graphics for social media. Special custom bonus number six, common online business challenges and how to avoid them. Special custom bonus number seven, how to develop a business funnel that increases sales. Special custom bonus number eight, detailed study into business planning and strategies. Special custom bonus number nine, over 500 engaging social media quotes. Special custom bonus number 10, how to make cinema graphs for social media. You get those, plus you get all these, and feel free to pause the video at any time if you want to take a better look. And from here up is 30 bonuses, plus them first 10 makes 40 bonuses. And if I was going to sell you these, I would sell them to you for $5,352.97, and you get them. 100% free with qualified purchase, and not only that, you get my new Mega Hidden Bonus Package. So with my new Mega Hidden Bonus Package and the other bonuses, it's worth well more than that $5,352.97. And how do you get your bonuses? You just click the link down below this video. You go to my bonus page, you push the button on my bonus page, you purchase the program, then you'll get access to all my hand-picked bonuses. And after you purchase the program, your bonuses will be in your JVZoo purchase history. There will be a button there that says Mark Dwayne Bonuses. You just push that button. It'll take you to an opt-in form. We put your name and email address in there. and It'll take you right to your bonuses. No red tape, no email, me, no nothing. Well, anyway, those are my bonuses. Now we'll move on into the upsell. Okay, here are the prices in the upsells for Design Beast. And the front-end version has two different options to it. You got the personal option for $37.00. And you got the commercial option for $47. And upgrade number one, Design Beast Elite, is $67, and that's a one-time fee. And you got upgrade number two, Design Beast Agency, and that's $49, and that's a one-time fee. Then you got upgrade number three, Elite 4-in-1 App Bundle, is $39, and that's a one-time fee. Then you got upgrade number four, Design Beast Unlimited is $47, and that's a one-time fee. Well, anyway, those are the upsells. We went through my hand-picked bonuses. I told you a little bit about the program when we looked at the sales page. Now we're going to move on into the members area. 
But if you like my videos, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, push that notification bell, and make a comment. And if you want my hand-picked bonuses, all you got to do is click the link down below this video, go to my bonus page, push the button on my bonus page, purchase the program, then you'll get access to all my hand-picked bonuses. Well, anyway, we're going to move on into that members area, so I'll see you in a minute. Hey there. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to watch this entire video as we guarantee it will be worth your time. Mark Dwayne here from markdwayne.com and here we are into the members area of Design Beast. And basically Design Beast is a 6-in-1 graphics tool. And because there are 6 different apps, I'm going to do this in 6 different parts, actually 7 different parts, because I'm going to walk you through the members area first and then we're going to go through each one of the apps that you get on the front end individually. Now I have review access and the vendors gave me access to the upgrades. So I'm only going to go through the ones that you get on the front end. And they really are congruent. They work hand in hand with each other. So the first thing I'm going to do is walk you through the members area. Then we're going to go through each one of the apps individually. Well, anyway, we're on the dashboard here. And this is the dashboard. And you don't get all these on the front end. You only get six of them. And then here's sub users. This is like if you have a virtual assistant. So if you have an agency and you have a virtual assistant, this is where they would get access. And this is uh, uh, my projects. This is your purchases. And this is the training. And this is the place I recommend that you start, even though this program is very easy to use. But if you have a question, that's where I would go. And then you got support if you have a problem. And then here's news and updates. And that's basically the members area. Now I'm going to walk you through the apps individually. Okay, now we're going to go through each one of the apps individually. And I'm going to use some documentation that I got from the vendor to help keep this organized. Because there are six different apps. And here's the documentation from the vendor. And the first app that we're going to go through is the all-in-one design and mock-up engine. So I'm back on the dashboard here, and how you access that one is you push this button here, and it will take you here. And what this is, is a bunch of pre-made templates that you can edit. You can search for a template. You can get them by popular sizes, and there are quite a number of different sizes that you can choose from. Or you can view all of them. We scroll down a little bit more. You can search designs by category. These are the different categories down here. Or you can view all of them. And I'm going to go up to the search and I'm going to push Facebook ads. Facebook, you see you got Facebook ads, Facebook cover, Facebook post, and we're just going to push the Facebook ads just for demo purposes. And these are the different uh, Facebook templates for ads you have. There's quite a number of them. That's just a little demo that goes on and on and on and on. And these are completely editable. And I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. And then it gives you the uh, option to put your logo in here. And I'm going to use the logo that I got for my Dillard's Fashion. It's a fashion site. I have a dillardsfashion.com website. Proceed. Okay, there's my Dillard's Fashion logo. And all this information on this template is completely editable. You can edit the text. You can even change your logo if you want. Image. And on the sidebar here, you can change the template. Here's the text area. Here's the images. Here's the objects. Here's my, my objects. Here's backgrounds. And here's your uploads. And here's your favorites. And I got the image here, and you can delete the image. You can lock the image so it don't move. You can crop the image. You can blur the image. You can add effects. You can flip the image. 
you can uh, bring uh, bring to the top, bring forward, bring backward, send to the back. That's like layers. And then here's transparent. See, it's transparent. So you got a lot of different options with this. So if I delete that and I go over to my uploads, I can add this image on here. And I could very easily turn this into an ad for my women's fashion site. All I have to do is fill in this information here. And then when you're happy with it, you just push download. Well, anyway, that's how you use the uh, all-in-one design and mock-up engine. So now we're going to go back to the dashboard. Okay, now we're on the second app. And the second app is one-click background removal tool. So anyway, we'll go back to the dashboard. And you can access that by clicking this button right here. One-click background removal tool. You click that button there, and it takes you here. And first, you have to have an image. And what I did is I went on Google Search, and I searched for some images. And I made sure that I got Creative Commons licenses. And then I chose this image here, and then I downloaded it onto my desktop. And I go back to the background removal tool. And you uh, push this button here. It's on my uh, desktop. It's uh, Beauty 4. I highlight that, open, and we'll upload the image. And it's taking the background off, and it does work quite nicely. I will say that. You'll see it in a second. And this is uh, what it did. This is the uh, image that I got off Google right here. And this is the uh, before and the after. This is the edited version. And then you just download by pushing this button here. Okay. Well, anyway, that's how the uh, background removal tool works. And I think it works quite nicely. And you got support, training, and dashboard. So anyway, we're going to go back to the dashboard. Okay, now we're on the third app. And the third app is the AI Logo Maker. Right here, the AI Logo Maker. Now I'm going to go back to the dashboard. In order to access the AI Logo Maker, you scroll down, and then you go to Logo Factory, and you push this button here. Then it will take you here. And then you got some information on here. You got Dashboard, Home, Support, Tutorials, and My Projects. And here's where you put your company name in, and then they got a tagline, which is optional. And down here, is there like a progress bar? And see it. So I'm going to put my company name in here and I'm going to put in here pillaredfashion.com and I'm going to push create logo. And you got these different options to choose from. You can choose a graphical, initials, and signature. I'm going to choose graphical. Scroll down here, push proceed, and then you select a niche. You got all these niches to choose from. Quite a number of them, and they have fashion. This is DillardsFashion.com. You push create logo, and it gives you these different logos to choose from. You find one that looks looks nice. It's got your company name on it. I kind of like this one here. Actually. I like this one here. Choose that one. We're just going to use it as a JPEG. Download. Oh, I need to enter a file name. Um, Dillard's Fashion. And we'll just put logo. Download. And you got these different options to choose some. I should point that out. You got uh, JPEG, uh, PNG and SVG, but I'm going to just going to keep it as a JPEG. It's downloading. Well, anyway, there's, there's the logo. So anyway, now we're going to go back to the dashboard. Okay, now we're on app number four, and app number four is 3D Live Motion Photos. 
Now I'm going to go back to the dashboard, scroll down, and you access it by this area here, 3D Live Motion Photos. And you push this button here, and it will take you here. And you have two different options on the dashboard here. You also have the dashboard, home, support, and training. And I'm going to start out with this one here, Live Motion Photos, because I think it's kind of cool. And you have the option to upload a photo, get a stock photo, or uh, drag and drop a photo. So I'm just going to upload a photo. And I'm going to take Beauty 3. It's a photo. And then I'm going to move it over here. And you have these different options. You got landscape, square, mobile, and free crop. I moved it over here. And then I'm going to push it proceed. And then you got these different options. You got uh, draw direction, uh, pin points, you got animation speed, you got add text, you got add image, you got delete selected object, and you got reset image, and then you got add more effects. And I'm going to push add more effects because I think this is kind of cool. And you got these different effects that you can add to the image. And I'm going to go ahead and push this first one, snow effect. You can see it added the snow effect. You can also add uh, text on here for like positive quotes and stuff and put it on your like your uh, Twitter page or your Facebook page, social media accounts. So anyway, when you're happy with it, you just push export. Now I'm going to go back to the uh, dashboard. And then here's the 3D motion photos. And he got the same option here. You can upload an image or you can uh, drag and drop the image or you can select a stock photo. But I'm going to upload an image. I'm going to push beauty one. Now I'll be honest with you. I don't quite understand how this program works. Um, I just uh, really don't understand how it works. I'm just going to be honest with you. But anyway, you can select this uh, this cursor here. You can select the size by making it bigger. Okay. And you just select an area on here in different designs. And then you push proceed. It's down here. You can see it's rendering. And then you just push create video. And you push play. You see it moving. And that's basically what it does. But you can, if you don't like it, you can reset. And you can do it again with this. And then you push play. See it moving. And it's basically going in the direction of my cursor. Okay. And if you're not happy with that, you can just reset and do it again. Well, I went over the lines. But anyway, this is just for demo purposes anyway. And then you just push play. See how it's moving. Kind of shimmering and moving side to side and up and down like my cursor. And when you're happy with it, you just push export. But anyway, that's the 3D live motion photos. Now we're going to go back to the dashboard. Okay, now we're on app number five. And app number five is Magic Object Remover. And now we'll go back to the dashboard. In order to access that, you scroll down here and you go to Magic Object Remover. And then you push this button here and it will take you here. And you have these different options. You got dashboard, support, training, and home. And you can upload a photo or you can drag and drop a photo. But I'm going to go to upload a photo. And I'm going to take um, beauty number three. It's the same photo we used before. And then you uh, basically you take the area you want to get rid of and you just go like this. We're going to say we're going to get rid of her. Let's 
takes a little bit of doing here. You can make the brush bigger. You can get the bigger areas. We're going to get rid of her. Just have to bear with me. I'm a little slow with this. Okay, I think I got it all. And once you're satisfied with it, you push proceed. You can see the preview of it down here. Successfully removed object and she's gone. And when you're happy with it, you just push download. If you're not happy with it, you can do it again. And I'm going to push download. And there it is. Now you can see there's some still some shadowing. Now you could um, upload it again and get rid of that. Or you could just leave it. But anyway, when you're happy with it, that's how it works. So anyway, now we're going to go back to the dashboard. Okay, now we're on app number six. And app number six is the Slick Image Editor. Right here, Slick Image Editor back to the dashboard and you access that by clicking right here slick image editor you push this button down here and it will take you here and this is the slick image editor and you start out by uploading an image and you can do that over here you also have dashboard support and training and you upload an image to get started and I'm going to take image number two Okay, and you can edit these images, and you got these different options over here. You got smoothing, and you can do the brush size and the brush harshness. Harshness. You can make it bigger, and then you can make it harsher. And then you, what it does is it goes over here, and it, you see how it's kind of, I don't know, fading that out. I'm just doing this for demo purposes. It really ne means nothing. If you don't like it, you just get rid of it like that. So anyway, that's what that does. And then you can edit, push edit, and then you got the essentials. You can crop, you can resize, and you can rotate. You rotate. Okay. And then you got effects. And this is where you can add some different, like um, different effects. Basically, you can see it changes colors. You got these different ones to choose from. Okay, let's see where we're on effects. And we're on enhancements. And magic enhancements, you can do highlights, contrast, and saturation. So you can change the color, see it moving. Or the contrast, same type of deal. Highlights. When you're happy with it, you just push checkbox. If you don't like it, you just push the X. Okay, we're on enhancements. Then we're on object aware crop. Get crop images. It gives you different crop images on the um, image itself. This is the main one or the first one. And it gives you the one for her, you know, the bracelet different uh, points of interest. Okay, crop, uh, where is, okay, and then we're on social media crop, get crop images, and this will give you the image sizes for social media. This is like for Twitter, this would be for Facebook, and this is the original, and then here's where you can add layers. And this is where you add text. You can add some text on here. You can change the font. You can change the size. Bold, italic, different colors. These different options over here. And anyway, that is the slick image editor. And now we're going to go back to the dashboard. Okay, that is the six apps for Design Beast. 
So if it looks like something that you're interested in and you're interested in my handpicked bonuses, you can get access to Design Beast and my handpicked bonuses in a link or button somewhere on this page. You just click the link down below this video. You go to my bonus page. You push the button on my bonus page. You purchase the program. Then you'll get access to all my handpicked bonuses. And if you like my videos, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, push that notification bell, and make a comment. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you next time. So, if you want to get the best possible deal, please check out the link below.